Hey guys, my name's Crew. So recently Minecraft Brewing has been updating in 1.9 snapshots. As they've been slowly released, a bunch of new potions have been added, as well as a whole new requirement to actually brew them. So I decided this would be a perfect time to revamp my potion brewing machine um, that I made about five months ago for 1.8. Now this 1.9 version does include some new features as well, such as a nice light system above it, and that actually displays whenever you guys are out of a certain material, which is pretty helpful. Now it also comes around with the uh, with the new potions that have been added, um, which are the lingering potions so far, and over here we just added a nice simple dragon's breath um, little effect, and if we head over here, you guys can see there is a new blaze powder slot. Now. Potion um, brewing stands actually require blaze powder to operate now, so that's what this little chest here is for. All you gotta do is fill that guy up with blaze powder, and it will feed directly into the potion machine. So, yeah, it's pretty simple to operate. Now, keep in mind, uh, the redstone behind it is quite small. Um, there isn't a whole lot going on here. Unfortunately, the light system up the top here did add quite a bit of redstone, so that is an optional step if you guys don't really want that. Uh, then the redstone will be absolutely tiny. Um, now also keep in mind this is a very minimal design so it'll be easy to build, however it only brews about 3 potions at a time. Now let me give you guys a quick demonstration on how this works because it is pretty interesting. So the signs here at the top tell you pretty much everything you need to know. So for this nether work guy right here it says for all potions except weakness. So we're going to go ahead and turn that guy on. Um, and now here's where we choose our potion. So up at the top you can see there's a little plus sign and that's the positive effect. So the positive effect for the carrot is night vision and the negative effect for the carrot is invisibility. So we'll turn that guy on and then you can only select one in each little category. So this little category here we're only going to want to pick carrots. Now we can move on to this guy and this will change negative effects or weakness. So um, you can see over here there's the positive and the negative effect. Well if we want invisibility uh, then we're going to have to choose the negative effect. There we go. So now we're getting invisibility instead of night vision. And then over here, this is where you can choose either for the potion to be longer or stronger. And I think I'm going to choose, well, invisibility, it has to be longer. Some potions can't actually be stronger, such as invisibility. And then we can move on here. This is the final one. And this is where you could either change it into a splash potion or you guys can add in a, um, a dragon's breath and that will actually add it in to turn it into a lingering potion which is pretty nifty. Uh, so I think I'm going to do those two for invisibility. Alright, now that we have all of our ingredients selected, we're going to want to come over here and there's a button which will push for potion. Now this will deliver all the necessary ingredients to brew one potion that you selected. So you can see it's going to deliver the nether warts, the golden carrot, then it should be the fermented spider eye, redstone, and then a gunpowder and the dragon's breath. Awesome! We got all of our ingredients right in that hopper. Now, um, it will brew up here so you can see it's second in the nether, um, the nether warts right now. And do make sure that you do have the required um, the required blaze powder in this chest and the required water bottles in this chest. It's also nice to point out that in order to get all your water bottles to fill up this chest, um, all you gotta do is come over here to this little um, bucket of water right here and then just hold right click and it will fill up the water bottle for you and then you can drop it in the chest whenever you need it. But um, our potion should be done here, you guys can see we do have the invisibility and now that we add in our little redstone, um, we should see it turn into um, a longer durability right here. There we go, we now have invisibility for 8 seconds and we got two more things left. So yeah, it's pretty fun, it just eases the process of potion brewing greatly and it really makes it easy um, whenever you're trying to get like a different variety of potions. Uh, so now that say we don't want invisibility, um, say we want some swiftness potions and we want them to be positive effects, we're gonna make them stronger and we don't want them to be splash. Well now that we have that, all we're gonna do is come over here, uh, make sure this guy's done, which it is adding in the final dragon breath right now, so we should get some lingering potions. All right, there we go, so now we have our lingering potions. We can go ahead, snag those guys up, snag our water bottle, push the button, and that will send the necessary ingredients to make some swiftness potions. So it just eases the process of potion brewing by so much. Um, it's not fully automatic because it won't just constantly produce a mass amount of potions for you. Um, but if you guys are just, you know, playing a nice survival game by yourself, um, this will do more than enough for you guys because it just makes it so simple to brew a bunch of different potions in a very short amount of time. And the redstone behind it is pretty small, it just takes a number of torches 
and redstone. And don't worry, I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial right now. All right, guys, so getting started with the tutorial, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is get the setup I have right here. And this is probably the hardest part because the redstone behind it is absolutely tiny. So um, what you're going to want to do, place yourself a dropper facing up right here. Um, do make sure they're droppers and not dispensers. Now, once you have a dropper facing up, um, the first guy, you're going to want to have nether wart and then copy the signs I have here up at the top. And this guy, um, I'm going to write for all potions except weakness. So you're going to use this guy. You're going to have him selected for every potion you brew except for weakness potions. And then we can move on here. Now you're going to want to have a golden carrot. That's night vision invisibility. A rabbit foot. That's leaping and slowness. Um, the next dropper, a fire resistance, that's, um, that, or, sorry, a magma cream, and that guy is fire resistance and slowness, then a little bit of sugar, that's swiftness and slowness, a puffer fish, water breathing and harming, um, then a glycerin melon, healing and harming, uh, spider eye, poison and harming, a guest here, regeneration, and there is no negative effect, and then the last one, a blaze powder, and that's for strength, and there is no negative effect. Then go ahead, skip a space again, and now we're going to have a fermented spider eye. In this guy, you're going to want to select um, for the negative effects of the potion. So if you want to select the negative effects or for weakness potions. And for weakness potions, you just have to have the fermented spider eye. So nothing else um, over there. Now, skip another space. Now we're going to have two more uh, droppers facing upwards. And then this guy is going to have redstone in it. And this guy is going to have glowstone in it. And that's for longer and stronger effects. We're going to skip one more space two final droppers and then we got splash potions um, and the lingering potions and those are gunpowder and dragon's breath which you get um, from sucking in the dragon's breath in the end so that one might be a little bit hard to get which isn't necessary keep in mind um, that one isn't really necessary if you guys aren't planning on making lingering potions so anyway um, once you guys have that you're going to want to go ahead grab yourself some hoppers and we're just going to place some blocks here and now we're going to want to make a string of hoppers going all the way across the top just like so and this is going to funnel in all the items going over now we can fill in the gaps here to make it look a little more professional and a little better okay so now what you're going to want to do is grab yourself some levers and we're actually going to place a lever um, below each dropper that you have so every dropper go ahead and place yourself a lever now keep in mind um, this sign that i have placed right here and you're probably going to want to make one for yourself so that means when the lever is flipped up um, that's on and you are selecting that one to add into your potion and when it's flipped down, it's turned off. So um, obviously, I like to have them all just turned down here at the start. And uh, then whenever you want to select a potion, all you got to do is flip it up. And that means it's on or selected, I guess you could say. So that's the next step. Now you're going to want to come down here. We're actually going to place a block below each dropper. Um, obviously, if you guys aren't on a floating world, uh, you won't really have to do this. But we're going to break on um, the block above it and we're going to place a torch. Now this torch is going below each dropper. It's not too complicated. Um, simple redstone going on here so far. We're just placing a torch below each of the droppers and then come over here and you're going to want to make, we're going to make a line of blocks heading around right here. And now we're going to have a repeater going into each of the torches. All right. So we have a repeater going into the torches and then the torches are going into um, the droppers up there and that should be good to go uh, now I just want to uh, we're gonna put one line of redstone connecting all of these repeaters here so just a nice line of redstone whoopsies just like so um, now we are going to have to break this guy I would just say break this guy right here and replace it with a repeater and that way the signal will actually be able to reach all the way down to the end and now we're pretty much good to go for that part all right now the next step we're going to go ahead and place ourselves the brewing stand so you can see um keep in mind that our floor is going to be at this level so we're going to cover up all these torches and this is where our floor is actually going to go if you guys are building this in some sort of house um so that's where your floor is going to go and then come to the end of this side so this is where the nether wart is and you're going to want to place yourselves a brewing stand right there now um, we're going to have a hopper going into that side and a hopper going into this side and um, this is where your blaze powder is going to go and this is where your water bottles are going to go. Um, now I like to have a little um, a little block of water sitting right here and this way um, it's just easier to actually grab yourself um, the water bottles that you want to. So right here I have a sign and I usually have this sign read push 
for potion or something of the sorts and then place yourselves a bucket of water right there and just having a water source block makes it so much easier to get these actual water bottles and put them inside of this chest okay and then for the next step we're gonna want to have ourselves a hopper going into the top of the brewing stand just like so and then we're gonna come up we're gonna come up here and we're gonna connect these two um, hoppers up so I'm gonna sort of shift click them inside of each other so that way the hopper train is going in here and it should lead into the brewing stand so a good way to test this is to just throw anything inside of any one of the hoppers up here and you should notice that it goes inside of this hopper right here at the top so there you go redstone repeater they're all connected up correctly and so that means you have finished this step all right so now what we're going to do is do our little input device so i just like to have a button right there and then we're going to come along the other side and we're going to where's that button at is it okay it's right there we're going to take the button signal and we're going to go ahead and connect this guy up to um this string of redstone that we have going on here so connect him up just like so um now you are going to have to place yourself a repeater right there and then we're just going to connect up this line of redstone just like that all right so now you're pretty much done uh, you guys can go ahead and fill in your floor right here that will obviously make it look a lot better and a lot more uh, professional now we do have one final step that is obviously optional so don't feel like you guys have to do this next step uh, but it's going to be to add in uh, the lights at the top and the lights are going to turn off whenever you don't have any ingredients left so for example say we use all of our nether wart so all of the nether wart is out um, the lights going to go ahead and turn off and that's going to tell you guys hey you don't have um, the right amount of materials so go and get yourselves some nether wart so let me show you guys how to do this step real quick so all you're going to want to do is um place yourself a comparator um coming out of the dropper so we got the dropper facing upwards a comparator right there we're going to have that guy going into a block a redstone torch a block another redstone torch then we're going to have a block on top a block right there and then a repeater and there's your redstone lamp and then obviously a block on top and that is pretty much all you got to do and obviously you're going to have to do this all the way down the row for every little lamp that you guys want so I'll do it again here uh, this guy's a little bit snug because there is hoppers in the way but we'll just place our comparator coming out now do keep in mind if you're doing this step uh, you can't have this hopper right there it's actually in the way so we're gonna break these blocks and we're going to place our hopper train going just like so so um, just have it going over one more and then back and winding around all right so now with our hoppers in that position um you guys should be able to uh, do this light design and it won't be blocking your system so now you can place yourselves a comparator there a block torch um oopsies another block another torch um, a block on the top of it block on the side then we're gonna have our repeater right there have yourselves a lamp with a block on top of it now you're gonna want to do this all the way down so it does get a little repetitive um, but in the end, I really recommend this step because it is just so much easier to uh, know when you're out of items um, because all the lights just turn off and then it'll tell you, hey, you're out of this item, so go ahead and refill it, which is just really helpful because it'll keep you from messing up your brewing. So we're just going to place our blocks here, then our redstone torches, a row of blocks on top. Um, one more row here and then our repeater so yeah the step isn't too difficult um, but it does add in a lot of redstone that you guys are going to need uh, if you really want this whole display set going on here now obviously that is pretty much it we're done now the final step that you guys are going to need to do is go ahead and fill up your droppers with the required ingredients all you got to do is right click on the droppers here and place yourselves whatever ingredients it says on the item frame and you should notice that the light on top does light up when you put in the uh, the right ingredient so we'll put in our uh, rabbit feet there we go so yeah we're good to go that is pretty much it for uh, for the potion brewing machine um, obviously over here I just have all the blocks placed and have it prettied up a little bit um, you guys can add in the item frames either on the hoppers or down on the droppers it doesn't really matter it's just personal preference I think they both look fine uh, but anyway hopefully you all have enjoyed this tutorial and this little uh, video on automatic potion brewing and how to build yourself a pretty awesome potion brewing machine um, again if you guys are still playing in 1.8 and you want my 1.8 design uh, feel free to click the links down in the description that will bring you guys to my previous potion brewing machine um, but this one is a little bit upgraded with this cool display light at the top and also adding in the lingering potions and the blaze powders right here I would also recommend putting yourself some item frames on that guy so anyway my name's crew hopefully you all enjoyed and uh, yeah i'll see you guys next time adios I want the one, two, a whole bunch of unique ways to travel long distances 
in Minecraft. Now, at the moment, some of these ways aren't super practical or resource efficient. However, they're just unique, different ideas that will get you from point A to point B. Now, some of them do require a little bit of effort, uh, but most of them here are actually AFK, meaning you only have to push one button and you should be.